So coming in from the left, we have the Little Colorado, and the right is the Main Stem Colorado. And historically, this whole place used to look like the Little Colorado. It used to be warm and muddy. The humpback chub is a fish that thrives in this warm, turbid water. And it's a fish that evolved. It's a really funny looking fish. They have a big hump on their back. They have really small eyes. And these are all adaptations for living in what used to be the Colorado River. When we put the dams in and changed the flow and the temperature and the clarity of the water, we allowed non-native fish to come in, like the rainbow trout that thrive in these cold, clear conditions. And so not only have we taken away the habitat that they need, but we've also added predators on top of it, which is kind of just like the nail in the coffin. And so going forward, we have this little piece of habitat that it remains in its natural state, which is the Little Colorado, and it's one little postage stamp on a big sheet of paper that is its one habitat that still remains, and it's the stronghold for the humpback chub. And now all of our management is going into maintaining this population in this very small place, but it's a critical habitat, and it's a habitat that functions like it used to historically. And we're realizing that these types of places are critical for endangered species that evolved in certain places that we have changed as humans. And that the value in protecting these habitats and the species that live within them are important for society, not only just for a small fish, but for these processes and the ecosystems that once lived and thrived in these types of environments.